Hello everyone, La Fox here, and welcome back to another video on Assassin's Creed. Wait, wait, wait. Do, do, do you hear that music? It's the fucking rogue theme! <laughs> wow, I just spat a, a ton on my mic just then. Oh shit. My mic is lubed. It's covered in fucking spit. It's ready. Oh. Anyway, welcome back to another Assassin's Creed video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys... My top six cities or locations in Assassin's Creed. Now, yeah, my brother James has already done a, vid a video. What? He's already done a video on this? That's fucking great. I'm copying him. Because he copied me. Hey, <laughs> fuck you. Bitch, throwing shade, get Keemstar on this shit. But yeah, welcome. I'm going to be doing this now. I'm gonna get on with the video. We're already a minute in. Fuck! I'm losing view. View. Okay, let's get um, view. View. Viewers, let's get into it. Bye. See you. Let's do it. So number six on my list has got to be Monterjoni. Now, the reason why I like this city is just because it's like Ezio's. It's kind of like Ezio's home away from home. You know, after he goes from Florence, he goes to Monterjoni, and then he just builds it up into the assassins' headquarters. In Renaissance Italy, and I, I, I do think it's just it's just really cool. I really like it. I really like how, how you know when you upgrade it, and it kind of like brings the city to life. The more money you sink into it, and it's just it's, it's just really cool. I, I really like Montero Journey. I would have put it higher on the list, but it just doesn't really seem like much of a major location. It's more of just like the base for the assassins. But I did put it on the list. I put it on the list because I really do enjoy Montero Journey. <laughs> So yeah, let's get on to the next one. So the next place on my list, number five, is London. Now you're probably wondering, why is this not higher up on the list? Well, like, personally, I enjoyed other cities more than London. Hence the reason why it's number five and not number one or two or three or four. But, um, no, I just, I did like this city. That's why it's on the list, because it felt like a living, breathing world. All the people walking on the streets, they would like have their own conversations, you know, yada yada yada. It just it just felt good. It felt like proper industrial London. And it was it was cool. It is really cool. Especially because it's Big Ben and because I've been to London myself. As have many other people. <laughs> but yeah, no, I did like London. But there are I do prefer more exotic, more like foreign to me anyway um cities like more vibrant with different colors but i do like london they, they did london incredibly well and uh yeah that's why it's number five the next city on this list is damascus from assassin's creed one oh i, I fell in love with this city straight away it just it just feels so alive and it's so vast and there's so many different places, like you've got the, the skyline which looks beautiful, like look at that, Jesus Christ. And then you've got the um, like the markets and stuff which is all bustling with people and you can just imagine how it would feel if you were there in real life. It's just it's that they really, really captured like the essence of this city incredibly well and like how it's meant to be like a trading place and there's loads of like markets and stuff. It, they, they did it incredibly well and I did fall in love with this city as soon as I started playing Assassin's Creed 1 and it has forever been my favourite city in Assassin's Creed 1. It's just really cool. I, I just really like <laughs> Damascus. This is the vibrant colours and the hue over it. It just makes it all look beautiful. Number 3 on my list of cities is Havana. Now, I loved Havana personally as a city. Um, it was just, cities may have not played such a big part in Assassin's Creed 4, but the, the Havana was amazing. It's just how vibrant the city was, and the colours used, and then the rooftops that are like AC2. And oh my, it's just such a colourful city, and it, it just looks fucking beautiful. I, I really fucking enjoy playing in Havana. Like, when I was doing 100% for this game, just going around collecting collectibles and stuff. I, I had no problem running around in Havana, whereas Kingston it was boring and shit, but I had no problem running around in Havana because it looked so beautiful all the time. It is one of my favourite cities in any Assassin's Creed game, and it also ties to the nostalgia of Assassin's Creed 4 now, as that game is pretty damn old now, it's just it's, it's just beautiful. I just love running around Zebwood 
in Havana. It's such a beautiful city, and it is my third fucking favourite in the Assassin's Creed games. It is beautiful. I keep saying beautiful. It is just a very vibrant and lively city, and it is amazing. Number two on the list is Florence. Florence is number two because it's the first Ezio. It's the first city in Assassin's Creed 2. It's Ezio's home city. It's just it's it's just a beautiful city. It's Florence for fuck's sake. It's Florence. It's where you start out in AC2. That's why I like it so much. It's tied to a lot of nostalgia, and it's just a good city. It's just a solid city, and it's one of my favourites. I like the I just like the hue. I just got over it. I just like how how Italian it is. I mean, obviously it's gonna be Italian because because it's set in fucking Italy. But I just like how how it really captures Renaissance Florence because they did put a lot of effort into the city, and it was like one of the biggest cities I think, apart from Venice and Assassin's Creed so far. So it is a very good city, and it it's where like we were introduced to like all the different shops and. Leonardo da Vinci and those different characters and plot points and stuff. Yeah, so I do like Florence. Florence is incredibly good and it is a lot of nostalgia and everything for AC2. So yeah, that's number two and number one's fucking coming up next, so shut the fuck up. Number one on the list is Rome. Now, I love Rome personally. Some people are probably going to be like, why is it not fucking Venice, or why wasn't it Florence, fuck you. I mean, like, I don't really, I just really love the map of Rome. Like, the gameplay of AC2 may have been better, yeah, and, this, and just AC2 is a better game than, like, AC Brotherhood, and I just prefer AC2. Actually, the gameplay wasn't better in AC2, but I just prefer AC2 as a game. But, uh, the city was a lot better. The city of Rome is better than the ones in AC2. It's because it's, it's huge and it's got all these different districts in it and it is fucking massive and it has loads of different side activities and collectibles and everything. And Rome is my favourite city in Assassin's Creed because Brotherhood is my second favourite game. So the city is my fucking favourite. I just, I really love the Borgia Towers. Uh, the influence and then the, the upgrading of all the different sections of Rome and stuff and the aqueducts and the Romulus armor and just everything about the city of Rome was kind of perfect in my eyes for an Assassin's Creed game and I incredibly enjoyed playing in Rome. So guys I hope you enjoyed my top six cities in Assassin's Creed. Uh, Rome is my favorite. Rome is my favorite. Let me know in the comments what your list is. Uh, it can be longer than six, it can be shorter than six, it doesn't matter. But uh, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more Assassin's Creed videos. And don't forget to post in the comment section what your favourite city is. Bye!